With the new release of Final Cut Studio 2, Compressor got a facelift. Compressor now has even better options for your encoding needs. One of the cool features of Compressor is the ability to create custom settings, which can be a major time saver. If you're constantly adjusting one of the existing settings, then this is the tutorial for you. To get started, let's get a project into Compressor via Final Cut. This is the spot that we'll end up creating in my new DVD, Money Making Graphics and Effects. Simply mark an in and out point. Move the mouse up to File, Export, using Compressor. Compressor automatically opens, and there's our spot. The easiest way to create a custom setting is to duplicate an existing one. So, let's select the setting that most closely resembles what we want to do. Go to Settings and open the Apple folder. Other Workflows, Web, Streaming, QuickTime 7 Compatible, and then H.264 300 KBPS Streaming. I personally email a lot of spots to clients, and I love this Kodak. Click on the Duplicate Selected Settings button. Presto! A copy of our settings is now in the Custom folder. Make sure our custom settings is selected and modify to taste. In this case, let's change the frame rate by selecting the Encoder button in the Inspector window. Click on the Video Settings button and change the frame rate to 29.97. Also, because we're using the setting with a 30 second spot, let's increase the data rate to 500. Also, Copy's not the coolest name. Stefan Smitty? That's a cool name. Copy? Not so much. In the Inspector Name field, highlight Copy and type in Spot. Now that we have that out of the way, let's save our changes. Click on the Save button at the bottom of the Inspector window. That's basically it. What if, for some reason, you want to create a setting from scratch? It's just as easy. In the Settings window, click on the plus symbol at the top. This is the Add button. As you can see, we have some options to choose from. How about MP3? Our new setting is now in the Custom folder. And if you thought Copy was a lame name, how about Untitled? Let's call it Radio. Some of the radio stations in my neck of the woods want the spot emailed to them in the highest quality MP3 I can. So for the description, type MP3 for radio at 320kbps. So we can match the description. Change the bitrate to 320. For my purposes, this looks great, so click on the Save button. If you use Compressor a lot and rely on custom settings, you can create quite the mess. Groups of settings is the way to organize your custom settings so you don't have to get a headache from the clutter. In our case, we only have two custom settings and don't need to group them, but you get the idea. In the Settings window, click on the folder with the plus symbol, which is the Group button. Give the folder a name. How about Miscellaneous? Notice that the folder automatically updated its name. Right now, there's a zero under our new name. Let's remedy that by getting some settings in the folder. Drag our two settings on the top of the folder. And there you have it. If you have a ton of settings, you can create hierarchies of groups by just dragging a group folder into another group folder. And now for the last aspect of custom settings that we're going to cover in this tutorial, deleting settings. Select the setting you want to delete. Let's say we're getting out of the radio business, or we were really never there in the first place. Click on the minus symbol, which is the Delete Selected Settings button. 
or you can hit the delete key, meaning don't hit the key on accident. And it's gone. Word to the wise, there is no warning like such. Beware of deleting your clips. And when you delete settings, you cannot undo the deletion. So make sure that's what you want to do. Now to compress the spot, all we have to do is drag our custom setting up to the batch window and place it in the spot's target area. Well, this has been Steven Smith with another tutorial. Happy compressing! And speaking of compressing, if you want to compress your videos to the highest quality possible, be sure to check out Internet Killed the Video Star, a guide to creating video for the web, which is available at creativecowtraining.net.